My name is Joseph A. Perugini. I'm a paranoid schizophrenic solo artist and author. I've been using music and writing as a way to cope with the daily struggles of my mental illness for majority of my life. For my most recent group of projects, I've teamed up with drummer, composer Chris Penny and producer Pat Noon to record a series of projects titled Diagnosis Schizophrenia and Diagnosis Schizophrenia Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. History. Chris Penny, Pat Noon, and myself originally teamed up in 2016 to work on our first of the Diagnosis Schizophrenia series, appropriately titled Diagnosis Schizophrenia. I've always admired Chris's work with the Dillinger Escape Plan and was really eager to collaborate with him. Pat, owner and operator at Trax East 816 Recording Studios, and myself have been working together since 2011 and have recorded over 150 songs, alternative, rock, orchestral, ambient, acoustic, metal, pretty much everything, all for a project titled Time to Face This World, The Schizophrenic Diaries of Joseph A. Perugini. A 12 and a half hour audiobook we did, which consisted of 137 of those songs as the 12 and a half hour musical score under a 12 and a half hour self-narration documenting memoirs of my personal life also adding elements of spoken word poetry at times, all put together with over 500 sound effects documenting an audio style movie of my real life as a paranoid schizophrenic from ages six to 31. So in a nutshell, Pat was no stranger to the meticulous nature of these types of projects that I like to do. Pat is always down to go full force with me to make our projects the absolute best they can be, putting in tireless hours to transform these ideas into a reality no matter how difficult the task at hand may be. For me personally, I really need to work on these types of projects constantly as a form of therapy to occupy and fight against all the manic energy, hallucinations, and anxiety that my schizophrenia causes me to deal with on a daily basis. It helps me cope, which is key to my day-to-day -day functionality and survival. So after that first initial three-way phone conversation between Pat, Chris, and myself in 2016, I honestly felt that together, this would evolve into a great relationship, and we would move on to create a group of recordings that would be appropriately labeled as the soundtrack to schizophrenia. writing process. I've always been fascinated with mathcore, math metal, and math rock, a group of genres that guys like Chris practically invented and pioneered. I knew guys like Chris were way more knowledgeable about the mechanics behind this style of music, more so than myself. You know, I never really learned how to read music or play guitar the correct way. I'm a self-talk guy and I play strictly by ear. It's really been the only way I've ever been able to understand music. Getting the sounds that I like never really seemed possible for me to achieve in standard tuning. If I didn't like the sound of a chord or riff that I was playing, I'd just mess with the tuning heads until it sounded right to me. And to tell you the truth, almost every one of my songs that I've ever written is in some type of alternate tuning from multiple guitar parts on multiple types of guitars within that song. Now Chris, in addition to being one of my favorite drummers of all time, is an incredible composer as well. A very educated, knowledgeable guy. 
During our constant communication throughout the writing process, he was able to explain to me, in musical terms, the types of techniques that we were using, in addition to explaining the mechanics behind the techniques and introducing me to new techniques, taking me into the fascinating, almost infinite mental encyclopedia of his musical composing personality. In my experience working with him, it can really be said that the man was in fact himself musically truly calculating and fitting. I felt like I would learn something new every time I talked to him, which was an incredible and valuable learning experience for me. When we combined our two writing styles together, we aimed to push our limits with each new composition and had one hell of a fun time in doing so. The result? Diagnosis Schizophrenia, Volume 2 Diagnosis Schizophrenia, Volume 3 Diagnosis Schizophrenia, and Volume 4 Diagnosis Schizophrenia. Pat, Chris, and myself have spent many long hours meticulously crafting every aspect of these four albums. Listening, recording, playing, take after take, revising, mixing, writing, revising again, more mixing, editing, more recording, experimenting, tracking our instruments for countless hours to the verge of insomnia and empty stomachs, all until these four albums were exactly the way we intended them to be, all 32 songs. I can definitely say that this has been one of the most fun, enjoyable, educating, and most exciting musical experiences I've ever had in my life. And I have Pat and Chris to thank, not only as musical mates, but as great friends and mentors. I want to sincerely thank everyone for listening. It honestly means the world to me. So here it is. We hope you enjoy this portion of the Diagnosis Schizophrenia series.